I think you might that in the interview. Call. Welcome back. It's time for a conversation that we have as often as possible here at Park City Television, and that is to give thanks to those in our community who are helping others. There is a truism in advertising, which is love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. If you've ever been to Park City, Utah, you know that we like our Subarus up here on the mountainside. This morning, I am pleased to welcome a couple of fellows who are going to be sharing with us some really great news about helping others, philanthropy in our communities. Dan Hutchings is from the Malinois Foundation. Rory is from the Malinois Foundation as well, and from Mark Miller's Subaru, Jeff Miller. Good morning, fellas. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you. I'll give the, the, the air high five, Dan. <laughs> nice to see you, too. And thanks for bringing Rory along. Our pleasure. So we have to start with a really kind of an incredible distinction mm -hmm. that Mark Miller's Subaru has earned very recently, and one that not many Subaru dealers ever have a chance not to Not many, boast. for sure. So last year we were, we were very fortunate to receive, or last week, the uh, 2018 Subaru Love Promise Retailer of the Year, which out of all 630 Subaru wow. retailers across the country, they picked us as the retailer that really signified their love promise and taking care of the community and taking care of their customers better than anyone else. One of the words that, that I read that really resonated with me in, in, in your press informations was the word strategic and talking about philanthropy and giving and the fact that, that you're not just saying we should be a part of the community in this way and help others and, and we can, but also let's do it in in the smartest way possible. Let's have a strategy. Jeff, talk a yeah, little bit about that. I would agree that. with that. I mean, I think a lot of the retailers out there, they try and just... Oh, somebody asked me for some money, I'll throw them some money. I'll give right. them $500 for a van, I'll right. give them this. And there's no real strategy to this. So I'll get my name on a poster board. And we really looked at it that we want to partner with, we've picked five organizations, five love, we call them our Love Promise partners every year. Malinois Foundation is one of them this year. And what we really do is by doing that, we can focus in deep with them. And not only just give them money, but we can give them volunteers. And a, a big thing we're able to do for them as well is give them awareness. Is well we said. have a very loud megaphone yes. that we put out there with Mark Miller Subaru and we have a big 10,000 person Facebook following and our advertising and everything and by just mentioning their name and putting them out there we can get more awareness get them more volunteers more people aware of the good that they're doing in our community and it occurs to me that th one of the great things about having a number of uh, beneficiaries for the work that you do is that you're able to reach more of the community mm -hmm. and and people are aware that there's there's not just this one-off. It's good for business to yeah. do good things, but it's deeper. Oh, absolutely, than that. and we can spread it around to not just focusing on, say, the Malamal Foundation and pets, but we can focus on Volunteers of America and homeless youth, or Heal Utah and the environment. But I mean, there's all these different ones we can focus on and really get a good spread of helping the community in every way we can. And the need is so great. Oh, the need is incredible. And w one thing we're so lucky about in the Utah market, in Northern Utah, is that there's so many great nonprofits to partner with. It's true. There's so many great organizations here that do so much that it's hard to pick sometimes. <laughs> no question. That's the hardest part. Dan, good morning. Good morning. How are you, friend? I'm doing well. Great. Nice to, <laughs> to see you and Rory here with, in the context of this conversation. Tell folks a little bit about the Malinois Foundation. So the Malinois Foundation is a nonprofit organization that basically specializes in placing service dogs with returning veterans and others in our community for, that are in need. The average cost of training for a service dog is around twenty to forty thousand dollars, which is a pretty steep price tag, and that's why around seventy percent of people who could benefit from a service dog don't have one. So this organ, uh, Mark Miller Subaru, has been very generous in helping us get that. And we're doing a fundraising event um, on May 6th, uh, sponsored by Mark Miller Subaru, uh, wherein we're gonna be doing a screening of the Avengers movie in Cottonwood Heights. Uh, there'll be a catered brunch, and the price of a ticket covers the brunch, the private screening of the movie, and uh, popcorn and, and a drink. And the best thing about it is with, with Mark Miller Subaru, 100% of the proceeds are going towards placing a service dog with somebody in our community that needs one. That's fantastic, and that that last little bit is so very important. And another way in which Mark Miller Subaru helps. I just I want to say I want a dog as well trained as this one. <laughs> I know my Rory's dogs are amazing, not huh? this well trained. <laughs> this 
number, this, this range of numbers, twenty to forty thousand dollars for each service animal. Mm -hmm. That's a, a number that caught me by surprise. When you're talking about awareness, as as Jeff mentioned, that was something that really stood out to me in terms of the 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 work that you do. It ain't easy. No, it's time. It's investment in the animals, but it's also hard cost as well. Uh, there's definitely hard costs associated. You know, vets aren't aren't cheap. Medical's not cheap, and uh, we we do as much as we can through volunteer and everything. But that's one great thing about our organization is we have so many people that want to help that 100% of our proceeds go towards the placing of the dogs. None of us are drawing a salary. It's, uh, it's really something that we believe in. You know, sir, if, if we can serve those who have served us, it just makes us better people. And again, the need doesn't go away every it single day. There are still people who need this assistance and need the participation in their lives. Talk about what it's like to, to have a dog like Rory by your side and, and being an ambassador for the organization. Well, uh, a dog can, can change a person's life. You know, some, some vets who uh, return to civilian life aren't able to, to function as they were before they left. And having a dog in a setting like this, being able to get gets them back integrated back into the community, letting them go to and do things and experience things that they want to do but aren't able to because of either anxiety or PTSD or mobility. So those are all things that we that we specialize in. And you know, it, and it's great to see um, dogs that we've placed get back out there and bring bring our veterans back into the community with us. It's lovely work that you do, and thank, thank you, you so much for, for giving the time, as you say, not taking a salary, putting your sweat equity and your heart and soul into it is, is a, it's a beautiful thing, and we appreciate you coming for a visit. Jeff, talk, if you would, about where you go from here. This is amazing award, well-earned, how does this make you feel going forward? We can do more, I imagine. We're excited. I mean, yeah, it's just the start for us. I mean, we're obviously doing more and more every day. And one thing we really like about it is that by showing our success through it, hopefully we encourage other retailers, and not only in the automotive world, but to see that how you can benefit by helping communities and by helping charities and by putting your name out there with these great organizations can benefit you as a company as well. And I mean, we really just pushed off for that. We have a big event coming up next month, too. So we, we do our annual every, I think it's our 11th annual. It's our Do Good, Feel Good event. And so we've done it one for a month worth of business. We, we donate $75 for every car we sell to one of our five Love Promise partners. And the fun part about it is the person gets to choose. So the person oh, who buys a car at the end of their purchase thing, they get a little form and they fill out who they want to pick. And then at the end of it, we have a big event where we're going to give away a three-year lease on a new cross track. Wow. And at the same event, we'll present checks to all the five great nonprofits. So it's, it's my favorite event of the year by far. And I'm, More really, I'm really excited for it. Fantastic. Kick More off, folks kicks who love. off next week. So Good for you. More folks who love Subaru. More folks into the Subaru family, as we Fantastic. Put it, so. And I imagine it must be a, a great uh, shot in the arm for the esprit de corps around the dealership. I'm sure folks all feel good and feel proud that they're part of an organization oh, like this. Oh, for sure. Like the... All the employees have loved it, and we've we actually we put in special lanyards for everyone so they can show off with pride that we've won it. And we have our new award. I think just showed up at the dealership yesterday. They FedExed it back from us from the event last week. And yeah, it's a there's definitely some pride in the organization to see that all the hard work they put into this and all the hard work they put in their customers and community is being recognized. And that's it's pretty neat to see. It seems like a really special partnership, and of course the, the Miller family has been so good to Utah over the years, but it feels like a really special partnership, the Miller family and Subaru. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, it really has worked out. So Subaru started with their love promise about seven, eight years ago, and for us it was perfect because we were doing it anyway. Right. It was exactly what we did anyway, exactly what we believed in anyway. We just kind of had a national face on a national name on it now, which, I mean, it, it, we couldn't have been luckier for our partnership with Subaru. So uh, it's a funny story back the way we actually got Subaru. So we've been a Subaru dealer since 1971. Wow. So I'm a fourth generation uh, car dealer. And the way my dad got it was actually my grandpa at the time flipped a coin. So he had a choice between becoming a Honda dealer or a Subaru dealer and he flipped a coin. No kidding. And ended up with Subaru. 
Well, <laughs> Hondas are fine cars, but, but I Honda, can't see but that. But it doesn't have the connection. I mean, I don't. I think Hondas. Are, it's a great franchise. It's a great uh, dealership, but. I don't think the community connection to who we are matches nearly as well as Subaru does. It just matches to who my dad is and who our family is almost perfectly. And so. of course up here in Park City where no. we're big Subaru fans. I know. We've tried very hard to get more presence up here as much as we possibly can, but Subaru's held us back on putting a dealership up here. That's a question I get whenever I come up here. Why do you have a dealership up here? It's like, <laughs> don't think we haven't tried. <laughs> it's just not, Subaru's not having it. <laughs> But we all go down to the valley. Yeah, you all come down to us anyway, so it works out perfectly. Fantastic. And we've actually started doing uh, pickup and drop-offs. So we'll actually come up for a small fee. We'll actually come up and pick up your car in Park City, bring it down to Salt Lake, do a service, and then return it back up later. So that's an option for Park that's City, for your Park City viewers. That's slightly awesome. Yeah, so you don't have to, because <laughs> we know there's a lot of Park City people who don't like to go down to Salt Lake. <laughs> I hear there's a rumor about that out there. <laughs> <laughs> so it gives that option. So if you have warranty work or an oil change or anything you want to have done, that gives an option to do it without the convenience. It just adds the convenience factor to it. Fantastic stuff. Uh, fellas, we should do social media before we get out of here. Dan, where can folks find out more about your event coming up as well as the Malinois Foundation? Perfect. So the Mark Miller Subaru Facebook page, you can purchase tickets for the event on there and then just the malinoisfoundation.org or there's links to it off of the Mark Miller Subaru website. Fantastic. Thanks, so, man. Thank nice you. to meet you. Jeff, thanks to, to everything that you do for this community, and uh, really happy to see that, that this recognition has come your way, and I can only imagine that it will be a springboard to lots more. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thanks for having us on. Thanks, you guys. Good to Thank see you. you. Thank you. Mark Miller Subaru, we like them around these parts because love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. We'll be right back.